is our uh, wind turbine. A little wind today. I had to bring it back down, and our antenna, of course, but I had to bring it back down because we had to put these guide wires on. Uh, it was rocking a little bit more than I wanted it to. It's rocking back, so we're going to put these guide wires. Well, I bought them extra when you purchase them, but uh, they're not much. But that's a little guide ring, and that we can tie down and make sure to go ahead and put it up again. Get this hole. As you can see, they're four foot each. What bar? Huh? Remember the bar that goes underneath there? That goes next. Instead of the rock? One. Yeah, that goes after this one. Okay. And I just send it up. My wood holds it, so it can't go anywhere. And then bring it through. Line it up. It usually falls right in the place. Okay. And there it is. And there. Watch the cord. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now we have our cords on there. Oh, she's turning already, isn't she? And that's how easily we literally put this together. Not difficult at all. I got a plug in. I'm going to break it right there and put an outdoor plug so that I don't have to serpentine this the next time I take it down. If I need to take it down for maintenance or anything like that. Okay, but I'll serpentine it through. Okay. And it goes. Okay, uh, what we have here is getting this back together. Now we're back at the height we were, but the good news is now we got three guide wires that I can steady her down with and make sure that it's not going to rock on us. So that's a big plus that we really, really need it okay. to come. And now we'll run this cord back, and it's going to go down into the basement. What we're doing is just going to cut a hole and uh, get the drill here. Okay, now I can get that, those wires too. We have couplings now to put those wires the way they need to be and can have everything in their place finally. Without those guide wires, we'd have been in quite some trouble. So if you get this situation, you need to have guide wires. Okay. Now I'm just going to drill our hole, goes into the basement. It's a thick board, that thing is a two by six. Okay, there's our plug, we'll just pull him out. And we should have a hole, and we do. Nice hole, and now I'll cut that open. Okay. Okay, and I have to get all the way through the insulation. It's very, very thick. Then I go in the basement, and we'll go on down in the basement. Okay, in the process again. Okay, now, I'm gonna come through here. I already got a lot started. My right here's my board, the board that I'll be using. Right there. Now I just measure two inches over. Okay, just a second. I'm going to take this down and take all our stuff down from here right now. Okay. We'll pick all this over here. Okay, here we go. Oh, Larry! Sorry. Okay, oh just... my God! What, what? my dryer like that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, I'm up here. Okay, now I've got to do... Wow. Larry! Yep. That's not too... That's not safe. It will be once I get up on it. I need it to. Okay, right here. Now, take my tape measure. Okay, you're through. We got to make sure that no bugs, nothing will get in. So we're going to close that hole up really good. Then a lot of the sink parts you get extra. A lot of times when you put a sink in or something like this, it's perfect for putting over there. And then this one over that yet. Okay. And then 
I can put a little screw in there and that will be watertight and just as solid as can be. Now, this is what I tore out of the uh, water here. That's a three thousand some dollar water here. That's used in restaurants and things like that. And uh, they had all these components. I took all the electrical out, turned it all to uh, for my wind turbine AC DC, and uh, that's why you saw nine different uh, heating elements there. And uh, each one I have is wired twice because there's two heating elements on each one. So I think we'll have plenty of hot water uh, with our DC We're working off that turbine. And that's just the overflow from uh, the battery charge because we're going to have our plug-ins that we're going to be putting in. And uh, we'll be able to plug anything into it and have power right off that wind. Securing our antenna because we put the antenna on. And I'm going to do a video on that antenna because a lot of people wanted to know uh, how we got an antenna that can get so many channels up there and uh, that's going to be a separate video but in the meantime I just want to secure this antenna wire and then we're going to put the guide wires on and I'm going to secure those in just a moment so this is just putting radiator clamps on basically just to hold that so it don't get blown into the wind too much. Okay, that is good. Get it taut. Okay, and then just a little tighter. There we go. Now, the wind won't catch that, and I'll do one more down below, and that should secure our antenna. Yeah, we are just so amazed at that antenna. We have no cable, and yet we get hundreds of channels on that. It not only picked up the local channels that we had that it could get, which is about 70 of them, but it picked up all the other channels off the internet that were free. So it's just hundreds and hundreds of channels that we're getting on that antenna. We're just absolutely pleased with what we have there, which I'm going to turn that antenna over because we get the best reception right there. So that's where I want to keep it. Okay, and open this radiator clamp and then we'll install it. And then I'm going to install guide wires. Okay. I want to jump out a little bit. Makes a difference. Okay, I got to untighten a little bit. Bring it back. And the farm here. Pull that down all the way, get it taut. Okay, and now I'll tighten her down. Okay, now I'll keep any wind from grabbing a hold of that. And I got two clamps I'm going to put here yet. So that takes care of the wire. Now I'm going to put on the cable. And I'm keeping a lot of leeway on these uh, guide wires. For one reason, because I may want to put that tower up another 20 feet or so. So, in order to do that, I need to leave plenty of wire, which I'll leave underneath, so I can grab it anytime I need it. The wind could be this winter. You don't know how strong those winds are going to be, and you don't want it pulling out. Okay, so that's about right, right there. Okay, and then take my guide wire right here. through. Okay, and then put our nuts on. And I can make that loop much smaller down here. Main thing is, I want to. Pull on that, make it very, very taut. Enough to literally move my entire antenna a little bit. There we go. About right there. Okay. Is that tight enough? Uh, it's adjustable. We can adjust anything we need after it's done. Okay. Make sure that everything is leveled up before we do anything else. 
room. If I want to raise that tower another uh, 20 foot or so, I, I can. I can raise as much as I want, as long as I have my guy wires to keep it from swaying. Okay, so that's guide wire number one. And I'll just go under the deck, and I'm going to make a nice little nail up there so that we can literally put that in a nice array. But for now, I'm just going to put it under the deck. Okay, that's number one. And again, we'll pull it until it's taut. Well, then we'll, that's why we gotta adjust it with a, here we go. Okay. thinking this guy where I may have to go out that way. I'm almost sure it will. But in the meantime, we'll just put it right here without hanging on. <laughs> yeah, it's going now. But I just have them when I need them. I can pull them out if I want to raise it. But now, if we get a wind, it's not gonna move too much. We got almost no sway now, and I don't even have the third one up. So that is definitely uh, gonna hold it because we do have some rains coming in. It'd be mild, but we could have 20 miles an hour wind, 30, and that's gonna move pretty fast. So this will keep it so that it won't uh, won't move on us so much. So. That's all we're going to do tonight, and uh, that's the main thing. Okay, so pleased with that, and we'll call that a wrap. And have a pleasant evening.